I'm recording this right as my laptop fans decide to start taking off like a jet plane, so I'm sorry if that's in the background. Anyway, hello everybody! Hope you're having a lovely day and enjoying your 2020 vision for those who are lucky enough to be able to see. Fun fact about me, I am legally blind in my left eye. I have amblyopia, meaning that my brain basically selected hard mode for one of my eyes when I was born for some unknown reason and now I just gotta live with it. In non-starry speak, the definition is just, during childhood nerve pathways between the brain and the eye aren't properly stimulated, the brain favors one eye over the other. I had to google that. I cannot read, drive, or do anything to a normal extent with my bad eye alone, so like the genius I am, I thought, what better idea than to capitalize on my disability and try to draw something with my good eye covered for entertainment purposes. The first thing I did was draw something with my full accessible range of vision, so both eyes and my glasses on. Now if you assumed I would be drawing my blind OC for this challenge, you heavily underestimated the way my brain functions because I didn't do that. I just do whoever I felt like at the time, which happened to be my lovely OC, Fortuna Grace. I decided to go crazy with the details so I could make things harder for myself when I got to drawing the same thing with my left eye, because I both wanted to make this as entertaining as possible, meaning more suffering for me, and I wanted to see a more drastic difference between the two, so the more things I could screw up, the better. And all done with the first piece. That pretty much followed my normal art process, so nothing much to say about it. On to the next! Now it's time for the hard part. I decided not to use my glasses on this, just to make things more difficult for myself. Uh, I taped my right eye closed with masking tape because I thought it was the best idea for an eye patch at the time, and it worked pretty well. Light kept getting in, so at some point I like put a COVID mask over my face like an eye patch. It was a weird night. Obviously working like this was quite difficult, but I surprised myself with how easily I could adjust to it. As if drawing like this wasn't hard enough, my program decided to throw another curveball my way. Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, please... Not to worry, I managed to recover most of my work from the crash, as I've learned to frequently save in case Creative Vibe checks me, which it does rather frequently. Although fixing the problem when you can't see any text on the screen is not a welcome challenge. I really struggled with this drawing, especially the detailed parts, and afterward I noticed I made everything more narrow with only my left eye. I borrowed the proportions from the sighted version, which may have been cheating thinking back on it, but I'm gonna count it anyway. The second one actually turned out a lot better than I expected, probably because I could zoom in a lot. I bet it wouldn't have turned out as good if I had tried this traditionally. In all, I spent about the same amount of time on both drawings, probably because I had already done one once so I knew what steps I should take for the second drawing, and this is also the reason why the second one didn't turn out as bad as expected, at least I think so. I wonder what it would have turned out as if I had started with the left eye drawing instead of the sighted one. But anyways, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe so I can show my art to more people, and tune in next time where I use both my left hand and my left eye to draw. That was a joke, I'm not doing that. Anyways, bye!